Today we're talking about animations in Swift using the UI property animator. Now this was introduced in iOS 10 and the main takeaway from this video is that it gives you control over your animations like so. You can see here in the simulator I have a slider and as I slide I am controlling the animation. It's fully reversible. I can interrupt it. I can you know manipulate it like that and you can see you can tack on multiple animations as well. So I'm I'm scaling up the planet. I'm changing the opacity from zero to one and then at about 50 percent this is the key here you can see we start to change the position uh, to go up and that's because you can add delays to UI property animator. So again, the main takeaway, you have control over your animations. When would you need this? Uh, a very good example is the Twitter stretchy header, right? As you're scrolling down the content view, the blur slowly animates in as you see here. And if you wanna find out exactly how to do that, Brian at Let's Build That App has a great video on that. I'll link to that in the description. And we're using a slider here, as you can see, but really uh, a lot of things can be used. Uh, as you saw with the Twitter, you're adjusting the content offset of the scroll view. Uh, with a little bit of math, you can use, get crazy, right? You can do the volume of your voice, AR eye tracking, uh, pan gestures. You, you can do a lot of stuff with some math to control your animations. All right, so let's dive in and I'll show you how these work. And as always, we do a quick rundown of what I'm starting with so you have all the context. It's real simple. Uh, this starry background is just a UI image view background. The planet, another UI image view constrained to dead center of the screen. And then I have a slider here constrained to the bottom. That's it for the UI. And if we go to the view controller, uh, you can see all I have. I have the uh, outlet for my planet image view. And I have a function called configure initial setup. And that is where I am making the planet image view alpha of zero. Because remember you saw the starting animation. It was, it was blank. And then I'm starting the scale at 0 0.01. Uh, it's a weird thing. If you started at zero, it like completely disappears and, and goes away. So if you do 0 0.01, that seems to work. If anybody knows why, let me know in the comments. But that's what we're starting with, just the UI image view and a little bit of configuration code. And if you want the actual assets, that starry background in the planet, I'll put a link in the description. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our animator, we're gonna add our animations to it, and then we're going to adjust those animations based on the slider value. That sums it up. So let's start by creating our animator here. Uh, let animator... Uh, equals UI property, and then you should get the uh, auto completion property animator. Do open parentheses to get the uh, auto complete, and you can see there's like four different ones you can use. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the uh, curve one because that's what we want. We want to do it on a linear curve. Uh, so the time interval uh, 1.0, time interval doesn't matter for what we're doing because we're adjusting the animation based on the slider value. Uh, so it's really irrelevant what you put in there. Uh, dot linear is what we're going to do. And then the animations, we're gonna go ahead and uh, delete those because we're gonna add those in uh, manually later. So there is our animator. Now that we have that created, let's add our animations to it. And I'm gonna do this in a separate function. Uh, with my videos, I like to break things out maybe too much sometimes because I think it separates uh, the components nicely for those that are just learning. So let's go ahead and create a function called uh, configure end animations. And here on our animator, it's, it's pr a pretty simple call. It's animator that we created animator.add animations that you see here. And then if you hit enter here, now you get the closure. And up here, this is what we're going to configure, right? This was the start of our animations. So what we want to do is put in the end values for the animation. So I'm going to copy this and then paste that there. And so we want the alpha to be one because we're animating from zero to one. And the uh, scale here, I need self. I, I get you Xcode. I get you. Calm down. All right, uh, so now the scale, we're gonna go ahead and make three. That's gonna be the end animation, right? If you saw in the beginning how it like blew up really, really big, that's what we're going for. So this added a set animation to that animator. Now uh, we need to adjust this based on the slider value, right? So if we go to our storyboard, option, click on storyboard to pull it up here. Now my, my size is huge, so the <laughs> it, it gets, looks a little messed up, but from the slider here on the storyboard, we want to create an outlet. Uh, actually, not an outlet, I'm sorry, an action. So if you control drag down here, we're gonna insert an action, and the action is going to be uh, value changed, and the type is gonna be US slider, and the name is, we'll call it uh, value did change, and hit connect. So now we have our action here. Let's get rid of the storyboard to declutter things here. So basically what this does, every time the slider value changes, this gets called and this uh, sends me back this, I'll have sender.value essentially. And it's a value from zero to one. So as I slide it back and forth, all the way on the left is zero, all the way on the right is one and everything in between. And that's how we're gonna control the animation. And how you control the animation is something called fraction complete. So if I do animator.fraction complete, uh, equals sender dot value. So value C returns a float and it's gonna tell me that uh, I need to 
you know, fraction complete is going to be a CG float. So the autocomplete will go ahead and give me the, uh, it'll cast it to a CG float right there. So what this is doing is the fraction complete, which is the percentage completion of the animation, you know, from 0% to 100% is going to be equal to my slider. So as I slide the slider back and forth, it is going to adjust the animation like you saw in the intro. Uh, let's go ahead and run it so you can see this. And then we'll talk about adding the delay. If you remember in the beginning, my uh, planet was, it would slide up at about 50%. We're going to show you how to do that to give you more control over the animation. Okay, so right now you saw the starting. We were at zero alpha, 0 0.01 scale. So you see you can't even see it. Uh, and my slider's at zero. So as I slide the slider to the right, nothing happens. That's because I'm dumb. I do this all the time. I forgot to call configure uh, end animations. Configure. Uh, and animations. <laughs> I do that all the time. I write the function and then forget to call it. So uh, now let's run it. And that's usually how I find out. And why isn't this working? Well, there you go. So now as I slide the slider, yep, you see uh, we're not moving up yet like you saw in the beginning. That's what we're going to add here in, in a second. Um, but you can see I am adjusting, interrupting, reversing uh, the animation there. So that is the basics of UI property animator. Let's go ahead and add that delay so you can see how you can adjust the animation when the animation's at, you know, 20%. 30%, 70%, whatever. Uh, again, full control over these animations. Okay, so to add the delay in this configure end animations, we're going to uh, add another animation to our animator. So animator dot add animations. And now you can see in these uh, auto completions, uh, add animations void, you can see there's a delay factor here. That's a CG float. That's the one we're gonna use. So let's go ahead and enter there for the animations. And then for the animation, we're gonna do self dot planet uh, image view dot frame dot origin dot y minus equals uh, 400. We're gonna move it up by 400 there. Uh, and then the delay factor, this is where, this is not like a, a, a timing thing. Like oftentimes you hear of a delay, you think, okay, delay at three seconds, four seconds. This is going to be a percentage uh, of the animation. So again, we're gonna do 0 0.5 for 50%. So what we're gonna see here is as we slide the, Okay, zero, I know, I know. As we slide the slider, when the slider hits 50%, the planet is gonna start moving up like you saw in the beginning. So let's go ahead and run this and check that out. Okay, so here we are, the slider is nothing. We're sliding, we're sliding, we're sliding. Okay, once we hit 50%, it's gonna start moving up. 50% and we go up while the other animations are still playing though. Like we're still getting bigger. We're still uh, adjusting the opacity. So again, as you can see, you have a lot of flexibility that you can play with here. I'll link to the UI property animator uh, documentation in the description. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video and go forth and create some sweet, sweet animations. We'll see you in the next video.